RadicalPrep.com Okay, this question says, if the sum of the consecutive odd integers from negative 19 to g inclusive is 96, what is the value of g? And a lot of students after reading this question kind of go, huh? Like, what are they looking for? So, kind of what they want you to do is, here, what they're saying is, you're going from negative 19 and you're adding all the consecutive uh, integers or odd integers uh, negative 19, negative 17, negative 15, negative 13, and when you go on and on and on and on to some number, you get 96. So the only problem is on test day, you don't want to sit there with your calculator going bop, 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 negative 19 plus dot, 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 negative 17 plus dot, 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 negative 15. There's always going to be a quicker way if you find yourself kind of doing something like that. So let me show you the trick. If you go from negative 19 and you're going to do negative 17 and let's say we started off doing it like that and we made it all the way to 0 and then we kept on adding and we got to 17 and then to 19 what would be the sum if you went from negative 19 all the way just to 19 well doesn't it make sense that the sum would actually be 0 because negative 19 is going to cross off with a 19 negative 17 crosses off the 17 and then ba -ba 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 -ba, all the way down so really all you're left with is 0 so that's kind of the first trick knowing that the sum from negative 19 all the way to 19 is 0 okay so that's kind of helpful because we're looking for the sum to be 96 so from negative 19 to 19 is 0 what's the next uh, odd integer it's 21 right okay so we've got 21 plus 23 plus 25 what's the sum now uh, 21 we got 44 69 we're not there yet right let's try one more 27 okay so if what do we say this was 69 and we're gonna add 27 what do we get 6 96 okay look at that so we actually need to add up from negative 19 all the way ba, 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 past 19 to 27. So we need to add from, and that's our answer, G, from negative 19 all the way to 27. And again, when you add from negative 19 to 19, that all crosses out because they, they kind of match up with each other. Once you get to 21, now we're starting to get positive sums. So really, this 21 plus 23 plus 25 plus 27, that's where you get your sum that adds up to 96. So we've got to add up to 27, choice B. And if you need any more help with questions like this or any more SAT prep, you can visit my website, and that is www.radicalprep.com. Thanks.